Another data type is the dictionary. Let's say that for our application, we need to know the usernames of our users. In Python, we can write this as a structure like this. This structure is called a dictionary. A dictionary consists of keys and values. Together, they make key value pairs. All the key value pairs in a dictionary are surrounded by curly braces, and the keys are separated from the values with a colon. We can get specific elements within a dictionary by writing the name of the dictionary and writing the key which value we want between brackets. Whereas we would write the index when working with lists, we now just pass the name of the key for the dictionary, for example, Sarah. If we try to access a key that doesn't exist on a dictionary, Python throws an error. We have access to some built-in methods that we can use on dictionaries in order to make it easier to access their contents, namely keys, values, and items. When invoking the keys method on a dictionary, an iterable keys list gets returned. This list is a sequence of all the keys within the dictionary. And although we cannot iterate a dictionary with a regular for loop like we can with lists and tuples, we can iterate over the result from the keys method. Let's say that we want to print every key value pair separated by a dash. We iterate over the iterable returned by the keys method, print the key, and then print the corresponding value by accessing that key on the dictionary. The values method is almost the exact same as the keys method, but instead of returning an iterable containing the dictionary's keys, this method returns an iterable containing the dictionary's values. The items method is a little bit different. You see that it again returns an iterable, but this time it's just filled with tuples. Each tuple is a key value pair. We've now seen three methods that we can use in order to read the data, but how can we modify a dictionary? If you want to update an existing value, we can do so by accessing that value using the right key and assigning the value that it should have. Let's change Max's username to Max123. Max now has the username Max123. Now let's say a new user gets added. Her name is Chloe with the username Chloe123. In order to add a new value, we can use a method called update. To this method, we can pass the key value pair that we want to add. So the key Chloe with the value Chloe123 in this case. Now, when we print usernames, we'll see that Chloe has been added. Now let's say that Max deletes his account and we want to remove the key value pair that it connected to Max. We can do so with the del keyword and accessing the key of the key value pair that we want to delete on the dictionary. Now when we print usernames, you'll see that Max is no longer a part of it. In order to remove all items from a dictionary, you can use the clear method. If you just want to remove the last item in a dictionary, you can use the pop item method. You can see that the last item, namely Joe, is no longer available on the username's dictionary. And if you want to copy a dictionary, you can use the copy method.